But I do know that I don't really like thinking about the scars. Because sometimes it makes me a little bit sad. And, and it was uncomfortable. I wear lots of scarves. I still do. Um, but my one friend, she straight and she said, you know, you just got to own it and be happy. So I make pretty trait ties. They're all beaded, which makes it feel more like a necklace than a trait. The only thing that really bothers me is people stare. And I don't think they treat me differently. I think the chair more has an effect on how people treat me. If someone's getting a trait for the first time, I would tell them just to own it, you know, be happy with it. If it's the medical decision you needed to make, remember that, that overall it's making your quality of life better. If you're getting a wheelchair for the first time, um, be really conscious of people around you because if you hit someone, that's going to change their perspective on people in wheelchairs. <laughs> well, I got, you know, as every transplant recipient does, I got the big scar across my stomach. Um, that's, that's the main one. I'm actually kind of more proud of that one than anything. Um, just looking at it is kind of a good reminder as to what happened and as to think about how many kids were in the same situation that I was in that didn't get that and that didn't get the gift of life that I did. So I, th I think that kind of helps bring me down to earth a little bit. Um, I have a few of them up here and one on my neck um, from the chemotherapy when I was little and that those are kind of the same same situation. Um, yeah, from the meds I am taking, I I'm, uh, have hyperplasia in my gums, so they, they grow a lot faster than normal. Um, we've had surgery once when I was little to kind of recede them, but um, they're, I mean, they're not, you know, they're not out of control, so it's all right with me. Well, I have a scar in my chest from my heart surgery and my transplant. How do you feel about your scar? It's like a battle, I guess. It's, it's, I like it, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Mostly my hair, but um, I do have a couple scars on my body, one from the port, one from the biopsy, and then I have three little dots on, uh, around my, um, my abdomen from uh, radiation treatment. And what do you think about these changes in your body? Um, you know, it just becomes part of who you are and, you know, um, it shows that, you know, you're, you're a fighting spirit and uh, that you're not going to quit. So you can see how my hair is pretty short right now. Well, actually it's longer than what I normally have it. But I'm a senior in high school right now. and. Ninth grade, freshman year, I would have my hair down to here where you couldn't see my scar at all. At the last day, freshman year, I decided to shave it all off. There's no nothing. And right now you can't really see it, but I have a scar that goes here all the way around to the back. 82 staples. So that was really a dramatic move, and my mom did not like that move at all. And after that, wherever I go, people will give me, you know, that stare like, what is that? But uh, I've been really open now about it, and if people have any questions, I feel free to, you know, talk about it. And it's just a uh, attention grabber now. But I've learned to deal with it, and people know what happened, and they are okay with it. <laughs> right, right there, with a big smile on my face, and what? I have to drink a lot of water. Nice. That is the best awesome. Player. Very good. Who do you think is going to win the Michigan-Ohio State game? Uh, that's no question. Uh, I think we're going to go 28-24 Michigan. Yes, I am. I have friends. People over in the wheelchair.